Okay, welcome to my Microsoft Visual Studio Express demo. In this demo, I'll show you where to go to download a copy of Microsoft Visual Studio, and I will show you how to create your first project and write your first C++ program. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, get started with Microsoft Visual Studio. Okay, and here is the page that we need to go to to download it. Visual Studio Express is free and you can use it for as long as you like. Uh, I think within 30 days you have to register with Microsoft and they'll send you a free licensing key and then after that uh, you're free to use it for as long as you want. Okay, So to download this thing um, we can either hit this Visual Studio Express 2013 link or just scroll down. When I click it, it takes me to this area and I have several options. The version that we want is Visual Studio Express 2013 for Windows Desktop. Okay, so we click on that and it'll bring up this area here that gives us some options. All right, so what we want to do, the installation option that we want is this one right here. Okay, so as we click this, then it'll bring up a page and we can select which version we want okay but we want the uh, express version okay we don't want the ultimate version excuse me <coughs> excuse me sorry about that we just want to download the uh, the express version okay that's what we're going to use okay sorry about that a little bit of cold a little bit of cold okay so once we download that we can run the installer and everything will be good to go Right. So once we run the installer and everything's installed, we can then click on our shortcut and that will open this thing up. All right. And so the first thing that we're going to see is we're going to see this start page. OK, so we want to create a new project and projects are how Visual Studio uh, organizes programs. Okay, so a project will create a folder. It'll have files in it that are specific to that project, including your source code file. And once you finish compiling your program, the executable program file as well. Okay, so we can select the new project or we can go to the file menu here and select new project from here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just select it from here. Select new project and the new project window opens. All right, so make sure that you select visual c++ okay and when you do that don't select like sql server or, or, or c sharp okay these aren't the options we want we want visual c++ we're running a c++ program so once you do that we have four options and the one we want is empty project okay empty project will just create the very uh, bare necessities of what we need to write our c++ program if we select any of these other options then visual studio creates a bunch of files that we don't need and that contain Windows specific uh, source code. And we're writing standard C++. We're gonna write a program that will hopefully compile on any system, be it a Windows system, a Mac system, or a Unix system. Okay, so empty project is the one that we want. So once we've selected empty project, we have to give our project a name. And in this case, for this demo, I'll just name it, um, project demo okay so now I have a name that's going to create a folder and a folder with that same name and inside that folder is going to contain the source code file and everything that I need for my program okay so now I need to select a location and the location is just where this folder is going to be created where it's going to live by default I think it stuffs it into a subfolder in my documents that could be a little bit annoying to uh, hunt down okay so here's here's the default so what I like to do is I'd like to just click this browse button and set it on my desktop okay that'll create this window and then I can select desktop from this side here once I've done that I click select folder and I'm good to go okay if either of these boxes are checked make sure they're unchecked we don't want either of those when we create our project okay so once we're done, we're ready to go, everything looks good, we just click OK. 
Okay, and that'll take a second and we'll create our brand new project. Okay, so we'll be able to see, let me close this, get this out of the way. We'll be able to see, okay, here is our folder, okay? And everything that we need is gonna be inside here. If I double click and open this, you'll see a bunch of files. These are all configuration files for the project. None of these are what we're going to submit for homeworks, okay? But I just wanted to show you that where the folder gets created, okay? And then once we're done writing a program, I'll show you how to grab this the, the source code file, and I'll show you <clears throat> what the executable looks like. Okay, but for now, let's go back to Visual Studio, and we've created this, this project folder called Test Project Demo, right? This is kind of... Uh, the subdirectory of the folder where <clears throat> that we've created okay and so there's no source code file in here yet we need to add something source code files are where we add all of our statements for our program so what we want to do is we want to select the source files folder here and then we need to add a new item okay we're gonna add a source code file a dot cpp file okay so click that and we have some choices. Okay, make sure we're, we're selected on Visual C++. And we want the C++ file, not a header file, but this file at the top. One. Okay, double click that. And by default, it opens up a file named source.cpp. Okay. And our text file is created. Okay. But by default, or by convention, um, the first source code file which contains your main function where all C++ programs start is usually named main, main.cpp. Okay, so I'm going to change that name here just by selecting rename. Okay. Now it's going to be main.cpp. All right, so now we're good to go. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to write the, the first program that most computer science, new computer science students, right? Uh, just to check to make sure everything works and um, show you a first program and how it runs, okay? So main.cpp is going to contain our main function, okay? And, here we go. and the main function is the function that all C++ programs start in, right? So you can't have a program without it. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just print a string to the monitor, to the display. But in order to do that, I need access to what's known as a Cout object. To get access to it, I have to do this, use this preprocessor directive, pound include. Okay. An IO string contains the library or is the library that contains the cout object. And I need this using namespace line here. Don't worry about that for now. Just know that for all of your C++ programs, we have to have this line. Okay. All right, so I will write my hello world statement. Okay. In C++, all statements end with a semicolon. Okay. And I have to have this return statement, which I'll explain later when we get to functions. Just know that you need to have it for right now. And that's everything for my first program. Okay. I can hit control S to save it. And I'm good to go. All right. So when I want to compile and run this program, I have a couple options. I can go up here to project. I can, oh, excuse me, build. And I can compile it. I can build the solution. Um, either one of those will work, but if I want to run it, compile it and run it, then I want to select this button right here. Okay, just click on local Windows debugger, and what's going to happen is, is that the program's going to compile and it's going to run, and a window's going to flash open for a brief moment. Okay, and the reason for that is that uh, Windows will compile the program, run it, pop up in a window to show you the program running, but as soon as it's finished executing, then Windows closes that window, right? Just the way that Windows works. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I click on that. I get some output. The window 
disappears and it closes. All right. So for me to keep that window open, I need to have some kind of a pause. Okay. And so the pause I'm going to use, I'm going to use this statement called CN dot get. Oops. Okay. And what this statement does is this statement just causes the program to wait for the user to hit enter. Okay. And that'll keep our window open so we can actually read what's going on. Okay. So now I run it. Hello world. Everything's great. I hit enter. It closes. Now a lot of students, somewhere they pick up the system pause call. This will pause the program also, but there's a problem with it. Okay, if I run it, it compiles, it works. Okay. The problem is that this is a Windows specific system call, meaning that this command is not standard C++. It only works on Windows systems. Okay. If you try to compile this source code, on a Mac or a Unix machine, it's not going to compile. You're going to get a compile time error. So don't use this. Okay. As a matter of fact, if you try to use this, I'm going to mark you down for it because it's not C++. All right. So let's get rid of that and we can fix it. And we'll compile again just to make sure everything's fine. And it is. Okay. Now, when you submit assignments, I want to have some header information here inside comments. These two forward slashes here signify that the, everything that I type after it is going to be a comment. Comments are ignored by the compiler. They're just for the programmer's benefit. Okay. So what you would want to do is, or what I need you to do is to put your name. I need you to put your course number. And usually, you know, it'll be like chapter one assignment. You'll write here just what it is. Okay. What the program is. Okay. So in this case, it's just a programming or writing a program to do demo, Visual Studio demo. Okay. okay. So now I have everything good to go. My program's done. I'm ready to submit this thing. Well, how do I uh, grab the file? What do I need to submit? All right. So what we want or what I need you to submit through Blackboard is the CPP file, the C++ source code file. So remember, we can go back to our desktop now that we store the, the project on the desktop. We can go back into it and open it up. Okay. And so <clears throat> what we're going to see is we're going to see this file named main right here. And it's a CPP file. All right. This is the file that we need. This file contains all the statements that we just wrote. Okay. This is main.cpp. See, that's main.cpp. It's the source code files. And that's the one. Okay. So we double click and open it. Notepad will show you all the statements that we wrote. So grab this file and upload that via Blackboard and we'll be good to go. Okay, so when we compile a program, what, where, where does it go? I mean, what, what actually happens? Well, we, we change this main.cpp source code file into an executable program. And that executable program is compiled and stored into this debug folder. Okay, and this is it right here. Okay, so if you double click this, you can actually double click that and run it. See, there's the hello world program. Okay, I could actually copy this to my desktop paste and there's another copy of it and I can run it from here right that's the program that's what we're doing when we write a program we're creating this file that actually does something it's an executable file all right so there you go we've talked about Visual Studio you know where to download it from you know how to create your first project and you know how to grab the file that I need for you to upload to grade okay now you know how to submit your homework so if you have any questions, please shoot me an email or bring it up in class. But otherwise, you should be good to go. All right. Thank you for watching and have a good day.